And what we saw in court is Liv made a great argument for us that we're the best tour. <laughs> the FedEx Cup is the pinnacle of golf. It's the road to get in the majors. Yes, those guys that are playing there can't survive without our system. And so that's that's really the battle is um, the the golf organizations, the majors, really the second best tour in the world, the DP World Tour in Europe. They figured out how to coexist. They haven't mm-hmm. tried. We haven't tried to take over. We've made it easier for European players to play our tour, not harder. Right. We've made it easier for international players to get on our tour. Sometimes Americans like Colt and I go, hey, wait, wait a minute. It's over half the tour is, is foreign players. Maybe that's too many. So we've been agreeable and accessible on everything, except people that come into the United States and want to play against our weeks on tour that is John Deere and RBC current sponsors they targeted that early on so i don't think there was any way that they wanted to get along or that they wanted to sit down and partner with us i don't think that was ever part of the discussion no no and greg norman and i I just don't think there's any way he ever wanted to partner with the pga tour i mean with the vendetta he has against them you can hear it in what he what he says they say we're we're here to shake it up to take over to change golf to to he says things that are so untrue. He gets up there and says, we're a closed shop a few weeks ago. No, I know three guys and what you're offering them. Yeah. <laughs> you're begging them to come. It's not a closed shop. And then he tells, I could see it. You've seen it in the text messages that are released with Sergio. But he tells players they can't suspend you for one day, much less a year. Well, that's a lie. Yeah. It's totally not true. Guys get suspended all the time.